uh, on a day where we were actually celebrating all day that Ladariana got her pink wheelchair today and was using it on her own and smiling and happy and everyone's trying to keep her mind off the fact that she's seriously injured. We have to turn on the news and hear Mr. Fordham and his lawyers call for the arrest of her older brother, um, which not only shook the family and upset them, but is absolutely ridiculous. In the state of Georgia, you're allowed to have a firearm on your private property. He did not point it at anybody. He didn't point it at the driver who was in the gold shirt. And the reason he didn't is because no one knew that was the driver. So if they would have just simply asked us the facts, we could have told them. No one knew who the driver was until we got the surveillance footage. The other guy had already run off. It was chaos. Neighbors had run over. Friends had run over. He blended into the crowd. The only thing that made him stand out is he keeps going in and out the vehicle. Doing what? We don't know. I don't care. What I do care about, and which is odd, is he never once checked on Ladariana. Yet he kept going in his vehicle. Not once did he check on the little girl he just ran over. Not once did he come forward, from what we know, and contact the police if he was carjacked. We don't know if he was carjacked. It's not my job to decide if he was or wasn't. I don't care. All I care about is the little girl that was run over, the hole in this family's heart, and the hole in their home. But leave this family alone. Defend your case however you want. But stick to the facts, and don't try and sensationalize it by calling for the arrest of her favorite older brother, who is now scared to death because you went to the media instead of handling this in court. That's pretty much all we have to say.